Hi, I'm Brittany. I'm Ashley. We have been together for 14 years. We have an 18 month old named Pax, and he's actually napping right now. He's the most incredible thing ever that anyone will ever. <laughs> okay, I'm very, very biased. <laughs> not biased at all. Not at all. But we did something big for him today. We did. It almost brought tears to my eyes. It it's, did. It's like tears. bittersweet. <laughs> I'm a very sensitive soul. She is. But we changed his crib into a toddler bed. All that really means is we took off the, one of the long sides of the cribs and put on like the lower side. It's a big, it's a big step, and we were just talking about how he looks so big in that bed now, like because it's still a crib-sized mattress, and how little and how little space he used to take up. Yeah, you used to put him in there. And, I mean, he was like, yeah, so tiny, teeny, teeny, teeny. and it was like this big open space around him, and I put him in there. And he stretches himself out and he takes up virtually the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, well, not the whole thing, but like you know what I mean. Pretty much, and he is yeah. kind of a wild sleeper, so you'll hear him like hit the sides of the crib all night long, and his foot will be hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> so we've been talking about getting him a floor bed, like a full size floor bed. If any of you have any experience putting a kid this young into a floor bed, let us know. I'm a little nervous about it. I don't want him like up and wandering around. I mean, well, there's no difference with this than a floor well, bed, though. No, I know, but this is at least like he's used to being kept in there. Like, I don't know in this because it's his crib still, technically, if he would get up and wander around. Well, no, but we'll find out very shortly what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> and then that'll be before we put him in. We just, part of why we want the full size bed is, I mean, obviously for, for him, but it's also, so he wakes up around like two, two three, four. One, <laughs> twelve, <laughs> <I love> 30. <laughs> okay, at some point in time in the night, he wakes up, and sometimes it's just easier, or it might be easier, we think it would be easier, to just like go and lay in his bed, is that yeah, what Yeah, to just lay down, rather than have to like stand there with your hand over him, and now that his bed is lower in the crib too, like standing over it and like trying right. to keep your hand up, like it's, it hurts your back. Yeah. And, well, <laughs> The whole okay. purpose of this video, the whole purpose of this video, we might be reusing his crib sometime soon. We've been talking about this for a long time. We've talked about this even before Pax was born about who's going to carry who and all of that stuff and I think we've made a decision. Who do you guys think is going to carry? Ashley? Or Brittany? Take a guess in the comments below, and obviously you're going to find out whether you're right or not, but I'm interested to see who people thought was mm -hmm. going to carry, just from... From other from videos, what we've yeah. talked about. So then we'll give you a quick recap here. So, before Pax, I didn't really have a desire to carry, right? Like I just, I have endometriosis, I have enough hormonal, just, <laughs> I don't know even what you call them, issues. Like, I just don't do well with hormone fluctuations as it is. Right. And, and so, she's already like a highly sensitive, emotional, big feelings person. And I don't mean that in a bad way at all. I love no, you. No, absolutely. No, it's very true. I'm a very sensitive soul. I, yeah, I, I feel with all I have. And adding a mix of hormones is probably, you know, I always thought wasn't the best thing. And then she had packs. And then we, we had packs. But what you go through actually having him mm -hmm. biologically and being the caring parent is it, it changes all those hormones and then it also there's just this bond that is absolutely incredible and there's a part of me that you know I really have the desire like oh man mm -hmm. do I want to experience that on like a more personal level and it's not that she ever had problems bonding with facts she didn't at all I think you pretty they were just, much yeah. right off the bat you were oh, yeah you were connected to him um, it's just but a it's, different it's a different, different, different bond for sure. You know, I, I have fed him bottles, mm -hmm. but like I've never had that connection nursing with him. Right. Nor did I have the connection of growing him in my body, right. which that in itself creates a bond. Right. And it's different when like, you know how when the baby's really little and the person that's carrying can feel all the kicks and stuff and that's super exciting. And then the other person has to kind of wait longer. Not kind of wait. They do have to wait longer until, what, like 20 weeks or more? I don't know, but I remember that day so clearly. The first time he kicked me. Mm -hmm. We she were was, snuggling. Yeah, and I was, was like sitting in front of her a little bit. And like laying back and she had her arms around me. And all of a sudden, just from her belly, just <laughs> boom, in the back, like 
clear as day you could feel and that. He was like, like yeah. He was like, yeah. You're smooshing me. It was so sweet though. It was a big I, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I got sidetracked by kids. So yeah, being the person that could like internally feel all those things. Yeah, you need to kind of experience everything first. So, do you want to tell them? Yeah, we can tell them. Okay. Go ahead. So I'm going to carry. <laughs> Don't stop watching there. That's not what we decided actually. Hey, why are you She's tricking you. I am gonna carry our next baby. So what's gonna be cool, the idea is, the idea and what we hope, mm -hmm. is that the siblings will both be biologically related to each other, which mm -hmm. really isn't a big deal. It's just, we no. thought it'd be something that would be, I'm gonna use the word cool. I don't know what else. Special? Maybe, yeah, yeah. special, I don't know. Yeah. So they'll both be 100%. Siblings. We hope so. Right. Um, they'll be 100% siblings regardless. You mean biological? Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, we've decided that Ashley's going to carry. The reason I don't want to carry is, well, all the reasons that I didn't want to carry before. They're the <laughs> same. I'm s I would love to take care of Ashley as a pregnant lady. I don't think she would love to take care of me. That's either. not true. That's not true. I would do whatever I had to do to take care of you. I don't want her to have to take care of the person I'm going to And my no. hormones are raging. Yeah, the hormones are hard. The hormones can be hard. Especially, I think even worse than pregnancy hormones are the postpartum hormones and then the weaning hormones. Uh -huh. I had a good bout with postpartum depression and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and that's already something that Brittany kind of deals with as we've talked about before, the anxiety and the depression and stuff. So we just kind of think it's probably a better idea for me to... Carry this next one too. We know it's a better <laughs> idea. Yeah. Like, I'm very confident about this, and I, I, I think I'm fortunate enough to be with an amazing wife who wants to carry it again and who, like, I I like really, again. really wants that experience again because I don't. I like the whole thing. Like, and I think it's, it's even more clear when I really think about watching how Ashley has had anxiety and struggled with some bouts of depression and stuff with mm -hmm. it and things that I hadn't seen from her and we've talked about this in other mm -hmm. videos like the amount of anxiety and stuff where I was just like you have anxiety too <laughs> I don't want to put myself I, I, I don't I don't want to put myself through that and I don't want to put her through that with me nor do I want to put Paxton through that I'm finally at a place where I'm stable you know I'm pretty yeah. stable in, yeah. in how my mood is and how and I think it's great to keep it that way and not try to <laughs> throw it all not out. Yeah. Much. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our big news. We aren't completely sure um, our timeline for things yet, but tomorrow? <laughs> no, that's not how it works. <laughs> but it is coming sometime in the near future. So if that's something that you're Next interested. Week? Maybe. <laughs> if that's something that you're interested in continuing on. We will be sharing, kind of like we do with PAX throughout the pregnancy. Um, we'll do pregnancy updates and we'll do, I don't know, all sorts of things just like we did with Paxton. So I can't wait to compare. It'll be interesting. Like, like I all of it, all the way through. I really hope we are fortunate enough that it happens quickly again. Yeah, I will say that too. So, I think that we're really fortunate. Just a recap of our first pregnancy. We got pregnant at our second month trying. Um, the first month we did at home insemination, and I stressed myself out so bad um, that I threw my period off by an entire week. So clearly I didn't get pregnant then. And then the second time we did a medicated IUI, and it worked on the first time. So going in, we are going to do a medicated IUI this round too, with our wonderful doctor friend Renee. I can't wait. I'm so excited. You guys will get to meet her this time around. She has actually requested more camera time this time. She is hilarious. She is lovely. We really appreciate her and all of her hard work. So, super excited. And I think we wouldn't have accent without her. So, she is close and dear to our heart. And we feel very fortunate that we could have somebody that was close to us be a part of this. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's really, really special to us. Yeah, for sure. Is that all for this one? Or, or I think that was... Oh, did you want to talk about anything more about how, like, you're preparing for pregnancy? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I am trying really hard to eat a lot healthier than I had been. When I got pregnant the first time, I was strict paleo, which means no gluten, no grain, no dairy, no soy. 
No sugar. No sugar. Um, and I really do believe that that helped me get pregnant the first time when I had a really healthy pregnancy. Other than that, he came like three and a half weeks early. I didn't stick to that throughout my pregnancy, don't get me wrong. But I do think having such a healthy diet did help me get pregnant. So I'm trying to get back to that. Um, it also helps how you feel. For 100%. sure. For sure. It helps with energy levels and stuff. So I'm working on that. I still have about eight to ten pounds that I would really like to lose before I get pregnant. So maybe not next week. <laughs> but if I don't lose it, it's not the end of the world. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stress myself out about it. Um, two weeks. <laughs> sure. <laughs> trying two weeks. <laughs> um, and then just trying to get back into exercising regularly. Um, I've been doing really well. You've been doing really well. The hardest days I think are when we're both home. Yeah. I <laughs> I do better with what I eat and exercising when Brittany's at work all day. <laughs> but I think it's just because like when she's home I want to spend time with her rather than like be productive. Same with like keeping the house clean. Which I is interesting. I'm not a bad influence though. No, like, it's just because... I love eating healthy and I love... Yeah, but when you're home, home I just want to have fun with you. I want to yeah. be with you and hang out with you and have fun. We all want to hang out together. It's really... We've learned it's harder to get work done when the three of us are all... Yeah. Um, we do. But it's also become becoming more sparing. It's less often mm. that we all get to be together. home together right. for like a whole day than it used to be. So right. So we we cherish those days when we yeah. have them. Yeah. And it's okay to just relax. And yeah. Be together. Because I need the same. I shouldn't say I need. I want kind of the same thing she's saying. Is I used to have a very strict like morning routine. I would get up, I'd write gratitudes, affirmations, go check out that video if you're interested. And I would do yoga mm -hmm. and it, it really, really helped me. And I don't do any of that right now. No, but I think it would be helpful. I need to get back, yeah. I need to get back into it because I'm just not feeling as great about myself. Mm -hmm. In terms of just like, my body feels tight all the time and I'm just like... Brittany carries uh, all of her anxiety in her neck and her shoulders. So if you ever sit walking around like this, you know she's stressed out. I always have to say, your shoulders are not earrings. Bring them down. Anyway, so we're going to start doing those things. Maybe we should put those things on video once we, we should get them, get them going because then we have extra accountability partners. Maybe. I've talked about it a little bit on Instagram. If you guys don't follow us there, go check us out on Instagram. Led by two moms, same name. But we do post stories and stuff pretty much every day. Except for when we're all together, they're less likely than when yeah. <laughs> I feel like a bad influence here. No, you're not. You're not. It's just because I like you and I want to spend time with you. But I do think that's all we have for this video. So... Stay tuned? Yeah, stay tuned because apparently in two weeks we're... Already... No, we're not. It's not going to be in two weeks. It's not. <laughs> Sorry. I want to start... I want to track my cycle a little bit before we do all of that. Well, that's the other thing. You've only had your period back for like... <laughs> Not very long. I think I got four periods. Yeah, that's so crazy. Anyways, that's all. We love you guys. We will see you in the next video, hopefully in another couple weeks. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.